Is there a plank in your eye, big enough to walk on, big enough to build a bridge or maybe start a bonfire? Is there a plank stuck in your eye, stuck, stuck, stuck? Hello everybody, my name is Ruby and I'm from St John's Church. Hi! And today I'm going to be telling you all about our Lent reading. But first, let me read what the Bible says. I've got it written in my special book. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, fabulous. Let's read it. Oh, can't read it. Oh. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't read it because I've got a plank of wood stuck in my eye. Hang on a minute. That's better. Are you ready? Got my book, yeah. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others you will be judged and with the measure you use it will be measured to you why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye that's like me hmm. first take the plank out of your own eye then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brothers hmm. So, the Bible tells us not to judge other people. Sometimes it can be so hard to stop ourselves. It's so easy to find fault with other people. I mean, why can't they be perfect? Just like me. Just us. The Bible says love covers a multitude of sins. So if we love people like God loves people, then we'll look for the best in them and also look for the best in ourselves. I'm going to say a little prayer about that and think about not judging other people this week. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we're sorry for the times when we make mistakes and judge other people. We're sorry for the times when we have a big plank of wood in our own eye with all the things we get wrong and we don't do right. Help us to follow you and help us to look for the best in other people. In Jesus' name, Amen.